so i'm back with another video but today we're doing a tier list with most of the dragon ball z transformations i know you know freeze is not there so majibu and cell but fuck it this is the only one i can find so let's just get straight into it uh number one dragon ball z uh goku kaioken uh me personally uh i'm gonna put this at the i'm gonna put this at the b tier uh, I think it's extremely, I think it's extremely mid. Yes, it's sort of cool, like when you first watch Dragon Ball Z and you see Goku use it to defeat Vegeta. I understand, but Goku really doesn't use that Kaioken shit really until, I want to say Super, when he got Super Saiyan Blue and he started using that bitch. Um, so that's the reason why I'm putting that B tier. It, it is cool though. Like I, I like it where he's like all red and shit. But I just think it's mid. I don't know. I just it's still a great form, but it's in the middle. So mid, right? Uh, next form is the what is this? Like the super super trunks form or some shit like that. The big buff form. Uh, C tier. Hair looks cool, but his whole body looks like a block when he's like all buffed up and shit. Like he's too buffed. You know what I'm saying? He's too buff right now. He, you know what I'm saying? He, he gotta relax. You know what I'm saying? Loosen up a little bit. That's why he fucking lost the cell. But anyways, on to the next one. Uh, Super Saiyan Blue. This is another one that can go into mid, to be honest. But it's hard. Oh, shit. Uh, it's hard, bro, to, to sort of rank this one. Because Super Saiyan Blue is kind of, not really iconic, but it's like, uh, I'll say this. In the Broly movie, Super Saiyan Blue looked, mwah, just looked great, uh, especially when Goku was in it. And actually, no, Goku and Vegeta, when they was both in uh, Super Saiyan Blue, looked perfect. Um, but in the show, Super, it looked extremely mid. I ain't gonna lie. So, uh, I still love it though. But I'm gonna give it a B tier. I'm gonna give it a B tier. Uh, next up. Go or Rose transformation, right? Um, gonna give it an A tier. Um, I don't know if I'm counting like the moves. Why? Actually, yeah, I will count it. I, it. He does have a scythe with the form, so it look it looks cool as fuck. So like, I don't know. It, it, this one's a really hard one, but Rose looks nice. Uh, just the pink aura around uh Goku Black plus the pink hair. It's not too pink. Like, and it's also not like like a hottish pink. I'll say that. It's not really a hottish pink. It's sort of like a light, light pink. If that kind of makes sense. Maybe I'm just chatting at this point. I don't fucking know. Next up, Super Saiyan 4. Easily S tier. Um, one of the best forms um, ever in Dragon Ball. Uh, don't really got to talk about it. Has the cool tail. Has the fur. Everything looks cool about it. Especially Goku's uh, Super Saiyan 4 form. Uh, also, Vegeta's is tough too. Don't sleep. Next one we have is Broly. Uh, what is this? Like the full power rage Broly. Um, gonna give this. Damn, this is not mid though. It's not. Uh, yeah, I'll say S tier. I'm gonna say S tier. I was gonna be a bitch and be like, oh, it's A tier. It's not really that cool. But it's an S tier. Mainly because it's fucking Broly and he's the only one that can, like, have that sort of transformation. And plus, like, it's Broly. He's iconic as fuck. Like, come on, man. Next one up is Super Saiyan God. A tier. Very great form. I like how when they turn into the form, they're not extremely skinny, but they're like a little bit, a little bit, just a tiny bit thinner than their usual, you know, self. It kind of looks cool to me, especially when Goku turns into it and also Vegeta when Vegeta turned into that fucking Super Saiyan God form Bro had me jumping out the seat when I was in the theater. Oh my god And if y'all never watched that movie, bro, please go watch it. It's one of the best movies ever um, In my opinion, of course cuz I'm a big Dragon Ball fan as you can see I'm doing a fucking list <laughs> But anyways going on to the next one Ultra Instinct or sign Ultra Instinct with Goku with the black hair S tier uh, Don't care what nobody says s tier he just looks cold especially with the little blue little t on him and it's like ripped apart you know it has a little holes in them not holes but you know slashes on the 
near the shoulder range of the shirt. It just looks cool as fuck. Um, and just plus, Goku looks like a dog. Like he's just, he just has this little plain face, just ready to box you. Like he's just, he's just in tune. He's focused. I should say, right? <laughs> um, next up, Ultra Instinct, or should I say, Mastered Ultra Instinct? People are gonna hate me for this, but A tier. I did not like Goku with the grayish sort of hair. Or not grayish, I guess silverish hair. Um, especially with him without the shirt. It just looks, I don't know. It, it's still cool, but is it one of the best? My opinion, no. I, I, I don't know. It just, it's not for me. I don't really like it. Um, I don't know. I just don't like Master Ultra Instinct. I like the previous Ultra Instinct better. Um, maybe that's just me bugging. Maybe it's just me with no taste. I don't know. Call it whatever. It's my fucking list. So next up, we have Super Saiyan 3. It, this is a hard one. I'm debating between S and A. Because Super Saiyan 3 is rare. We never see that. Like, never. Um, Damn. Uh... Fuck it. I'll put it at A tier. Actually, ah, damn. Nah, I'm put it at S tier. Super Saiyan 3 S tier, bro. I love Super Saiyan 3. It's a... Super Saiyan 3 is one of those forms that, like, they barely show. But, like, when when they show it, it's like, damn, it gets you hyped. Like, oh, shit, like, Super Saiyan 3. Well, obviously not now because there's God forms. But it's still cool to see Super Saiyan 3 because... You know, Goku barely uses that form. Um, I think the last time he used that form was in like the tournament. Yeah, tournament of power arc. Um, where he used the form against I think Kefla and uh, Kale, one of them bitches. No, no, not Kefla. Uh, what's his name? Kale and uh, Khalifa. Them two. That's the last time I've seen Super Saiyan 3. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if he used it in the Broly movie. Wait, did he? Uh, no, he didn't. He didn't, he didn't use it in the Broly movie. All right, next up. Super Vegeta, um, I'll say mid, I don't know, I, I didn't really like, even though he was beating Cell's ass, I just think it was a, it was a mid form, I didn't, really, it was like a buff version, or more buff version of Super Saiyan, to be honest, so, yeah, uh, next up, Super Saiyan Blue Evolved, uh, A tier, was kind of disappointed, when I seen Vegeta get a new form and it was like a darker blue uh, version of Super Saiyan Blue, it's kind of stupid. Uh, but it was, you know, kind of cool seeing him tap into that form and actually getting a new form and him getting love, something that he never fucking gets. <laughs> but yeah, the, the form is still cool. It's, you know, it's not mid, but it's, it's better, better than these forms below him. So, uh, yeah. Uh, next one is Broly's original form. I guess I'll say C tier. Uh, I don't really know why they have that there. To be honest, the fuck? Next up is Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken. Uh, A tier. Has the red flash. Or not the red flash. The red aura mixed with the blue aura. So it looks cool as fuck. Um, that's the only reason why it's at A tier, to be honest. Because Kaioken and Blue, they're both mid. But if you put them together... A, they're gonna be A tier. I ain't gonna lie. Nothing, nothing above A, but you know what I'm saying. Just right there, A tier. Let's move on. So next up is Super Saiyan, um, S tier, classic transformation. One of the best transformations ever in anime history. Yes, I said it. Best transformation ever, or one of the best transformations ever, whatever you want to call it. But I think it's the best. You know, Dragon Ball Z fan. Probably said that like four times already. I don't know. <laughs> so let's move on to the next one, which is the Golden Ape, um, and also the regular ape form. Um, the regular ape I would put at A tier, and I'll put the Golden Ape at B tier, which is kind of weird because some people would say the Golden Ape looks better, but I like the original uh, Great Ape form. Maybe I'm tweaking. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. But again my list so we have super saiyan 2 for the next one automatically s tier um yes gohan mainly carries that form in the transformation but i also think the reason why like 
Super Saiyan 2 is S tier is because it has little, like, not sparks, but, well, yeah, I guess it is sparks. Little blue sparks, you know, sparking around, like, the aura, or, or around the person when they're Super Saiyan 2, so, that looks cool, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, next up, Trunks' little rage form, um, A tier, crazy as fuck, he was powerful as shit. And now for the final Dragon Ball Z transformation, we have Ultimate Gohan. I I'm gonna say B tier. Uh, I, I want to put it at A tier, but it just, it looks just too bland to me. Like, he does have the cool little aura around him, but he's just, I, I don't know. He just looks like himself, bro, to be honest. Like, he just, but Gohan, like, it's kind of different, though, because it's like Gohan, you know? But no dick sucking, man. Actually, I should put Broly at D tier, because Broly doesn't, it's not really even a form so yeah this would probably be my list to be honest of all the dragon ball z transformations so that is it for the video um if you're also wondering like where i would put golden frieza golden frieza would probably be a tier maybe even s tier and who else am i missing perfect cell would probably be a tier uh kid boo would probably be, yeah would, kid boo would probably be eight uh not a tier uh s tier and the fat boo maybe b and then the Super Boo, maybe A tier, I don't know. Um, but anything else, I can't really think of. Like, who am I missing on this list? Oh, Vegeta, Vegeta's new form, the purple form, that would definitely be S tier. But other than that, I don't think I'm missing anything too crazy. So, uh, yeah, man, that, that's it for the video. Uh, if y'all enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe, man. And uh, yeah, God bless.